Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome back to Deus Ex. We left off last episode on the very first mission of the game, um, and I suddenly realized, oh, I'm actually clearing all this stuff without actually completing the main objective, which I just threw away my weapon. I did not know you could do that, but here we are. Apparently Tab throws away your weapon. Um, that's new information. I was trying to pull up the information screen. So. I was doing all of this, I was in the Statue of Liberty, clearing out the area, I freed the captured agent, and then I realized, oh, I uh, never actually went to meet Unatco informant Harley Fibin, Philbin at the North Docks. I kind of went from south to the middle and then got, got sidetracked. So I'm going to go ahead and look for Harley, Philb Harley Philbin, um, but before I do that, I'm actually going to get myself I was going to say, oh, I'm going to get myself into this terminal because I actually looked up um, my footage from last time and found the uh, account number and password, but it turns out that I've already hacked it, and as a result, it is out of service, so I did not need to do what I wanted to do there. So with that in mind, uh, I don't want to waste a lockpick on this. This is the main door, so more than likely, I'll be looking for the key to this. Also, this weapon is completely out, so I have no choice but to use the baton anyway. Um, so yeah, so, uh, all of the places I need to go uh, will essentially lead me back into this place, of course. But, in the interest of completionis uh, completionism, at least to the best of my ability, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. So. Just gotta wait for this guy to come around the corner and then beat him up with the baton. Hope he's not. I saw somebody. No, you didn't. Maybe just a homeless guy. Maybe. The funny thing is, they have better detection. I guess it's nothing. They have better detection in this than um, the first Dishonored game. Because they went ahead and made it so that in the first game they couldn't detect you if you poke your head around a corner. But in this one, he saw my head poking out. Uh oh. He didn't see me from that distance, though, which is quite convenient for me. Will you make a lot of noise if I beat you up with a stick? Probably, but you might have loot. And I like me some loot. No! Down you go. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that counts as loot, per se, but ammo is ammo. Speaking of ammo, uh, I'm basically trying to play this semi-non-lethally. To the best of my ability. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I chose the hardest difficulty um, and I'm trying to play non-lethal so obviously I say non-lethal it's not it's not exactly set in stone right like if I end up killing someone I'm gonna end up killing Take someone it, it is what it is. This dude hurts. All right I'm dead. Mild regret. So, uh, in that case, we're just back to where I started. Um, okay. I should probably just try to backtrack my way back out before coming in through the front doors. With the key, I can skip through this whole backtracking um, nonsense, essentially. I don't know how much noise I'm making if I uh, sprint up behind him. So it's probably safer not to do it at all. Shoot. We're doing this again, huh? Beat this man! I'm hit. Okay, interesting difference in uh, in behavior between these two NPCs. That first, the other guy who just killed me, his first response was to literally shoot me, but this guy, he just wanted to run, uh, wanted to run away. I don't know if personalities are a thing in the NPCs here. And I don't know why that one only took two hits versus the other guy who took like three or four, but... Hmm. Do they have variable HP? I'm not sure. You are going to see me frequently save. Since uh, I'm on a difficulty level where... Two or three shots will actually kill me, so... Don't exactly want to deal with that. That's TNT. That will straight up kill me as well. Uh... Are you going to walk towards me? Are you going to walk away? Nope. Yep. Okay, he's walking in my direction. That's fine. I can crowbar this man. Okay, I'm going to have to wait until he moves on from there as well. This is good. 
I don't think their cone of vision is that, um, that wide, especially in the dark. Okay, now he's running away too. It seems when I actually, like, crouch, uh, crouch behind someone, um, they're more likely to run away, which is good. I don't know what that light is all about. I don't know if I want to know. What is that light? Oh, it's just like a standard street lamp. Okay. You're walking away from me in a decent manner. Just don't uh, turn around all of a sudden, please. Because there's another dude down there who can probably shoot me if he hears this noise, so... Don't suddenly turn around, sir. Do not do it. I don't know. Maybe crouch... Crouch attacking with the uh, the crowbar actually does more damage. That seems like... That seems to be the case at the moment. I seem to actually do more damage when crouched. Is there like a sneak attack bonus or what? Alright, your turn, sir. Mercenary thug. Ha! Where are you going? Stop that. He's a dead body. Okay, this guy's dead. Am I actually killing them with the crowbar? Dead body. Oh. Oh, it's a crowbar, not the baton! Crap. That would explain it, wouldn't it? Well then, uh, so that whole thing about non-lethal... Hmm. Let, let, let's scratch that. Let's scratch that. Again, I don't- I doubt that there is a chaos setting in this, um, or like, uh... A chaos mechanic in this game anyway, so, you know, it's not the end of the world, but... Whoopsie daisy, I'm a little annoyed by that. Also, I don't know how exactly I'm supposed to leave. I need to get back down a level, right? Uh, I know I got up here by climbing some crates. I just don't really know how I'm supposed to get back out. I do know I have a dark vision or flashlight, but um, unfortunately that does seem to drain my bio energy or something, and I don't really have any way to replenish that at the moment, sadly. Uh, I wonder how many hits it will take you to- We got a man down. Everybody oh, be careful. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hiya, hiya. Well, two hits from the baton seem to do it. You're just unconscious. You're dead. Okay, so I killed like four or five people with a with a crowbar. It is what it is. What's done is done. Um. How exactly do I go back down? How did I get up here? The fun part is I've already taken out literally everyone uh, up here. So it's not even. It's not even a cause for concern anymore. I can just run around with no issues and no repercussions. Is that a droid? Yeah, okay, that's a little ATST over there. Um I guess I might have to jump onto these boxes and then and then head out. Probably. Yes, most definitely. Okay. Wonderful. At least now I've found my way back out. So Progress is progress. <gasps> Nearly fell off. That probably would have been bad. Okay. I'm going to quickly save. Even though I just murdered a bunch of people. And I'm going to have to find some way to get to the north dock. I assume that's it right over there. Because I've never been on that side. Now definitely don't draw attention from the droid. Hello? Okay, no one's chilling. Uh, no one seems to be getting in my way when I come over here, so... Oh! It all happened an hour ago. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in, offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what's not fine is the large number of people around here. I can probably beat that man. But this guy might get me. Don't turn the corner. Oh shit, he turned the corner. Ow! I'm so dead. He broke my legs. I'm just super dead. Okay. So... Turns out your the durability levels of your body parts do matter, um, it seems. Is that a rat? Okay. Um... 
And yeah, so like he broke my legs and therefore I just fell uh, onto the ground. And then after that he, um, he killed me by breaking my chest, I guess. I don't really know... Like it's not like a standard health bar, as far as I can tell. So that is interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind. I could probably dart the guy as well. It all happened an hour ago. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in, offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. Is this Philbin? He's a mercenary, huh? Ow! You have a lot of health, sir. I probably would have been better off, uh... God, okay. Probably would have been better off just darting the man. Okay, I'm just gonna die now, because I don't think I have healing. This is best uh, Maybe we have a chance. Maybe we have a chance. Okay. So... I don't know, maybe thugs are just uh, more powerful. They just might have more HP. Because I took a few a few smacks from my baton and nothing happened. Uh, let's keep trying. We'll make our way through, eventually. Might take a moment, but you know, it'll happen. I mean, I could also just throw my grenade. That, that's also true, ago. yes. The barge docked and the NSF moved right on in. Offloading the cargo into speedboats. Our undercover man, yep. Harley Philbin, should be somewhere out on the docks now. I mean, they do also have an obvious, uh, you know, place to sneak up, up here. So that is a thing. No, no, we're not. The law's not on you at all. Shut up. No, I'm not. They found us. No, we didn't. Fascist. Ow! What? Who? I guess I'm just gonna die. I guess I- Ow. Who the hell is still shooting at me? Okay, I darted him. I darted him too. Ow. Can you guys just fall over, please? Unconscious, please? Where are you running to? Okay, he fell over. Can you please fall over unconscious, sir? There you go. Took a while. Um, I'm gonna need some more health. Thank you for the ammo, sir. I just picked up his body, didn't need that. Uh, what am I doing for health? I... Um... Not stellar. But I have some healing options, so... We'll just use one of these. Now what? How are we doing now? Still not the best, but decent enough. Okay. This is gonna be just rockets. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Why do I need the rocket? I don't know. And where is our contact? It's probably that guy because he's unique looking. Um, another save. Let's quickly see if there's any anything around here. Hello. I'll take that healing, thank you. I do like that the boxes are conveniently um, labeled for you, so you know what you're getting when uh, what you're getting into as soon as you get close. I assume this is the dude. I'll pick up the soda. Why not? All right. Well, who are who's that? About time you showed up. Iron and copper. The statue is copper on an iron frame, right? Passwords enough, pal. Don't think you know something about the lady I don't. My dad did tours out here. I heard that you can get me inside. Depends. You get your man out, take back the statue, whatever. But I know the commander, and I don't want to see him get hurt. I've already got There's him a out. Picture so you don't make a mistake. Uh, you can trust me. You can trust me. I'll take your word. Here's the key to the front entrance. The commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact at the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. Okay. So the, I should non-lethally take him out. So it does matter, apparently. I'll take that. Um... Yeah, so it does seem to have a difference um, whether or not you kill the, I guess, the main targets. What was that? What did I do that for? I don't know. Who are you? You the Philbin? I get a cut for bringing him over. Tell me what you know about the NSF operation. I'm not that high level. The more elite troops, they're the ones that took over the ship and unloaded it into speedboats. 
I think we're supposed to be a diversion. A ship? That's all I know. The commander gave me a 10 millimeter clip, a box of 30 off 6 ammo, and some crossbow darts, and said keep your head down. Huh. Like I'm gonna take on your NATCO troops. Want them? You can add the clip for 175, the 30 out 6 for 300, and the darts for 50. But if I was you, I'd avoid a head on attack altogether and not even use the key Philbin got. I'd go in the statue from the back. Less security that way. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. No thanks. It's funny because they're telling. That worried me for half a moment. Um, they're telling me all this stuff, and it's like, you know, actually, I've already been. Uh inside the building. I, I don't actually need any of your help, but um thank you, nonetheless all the uh, you know, nonetheless. Now we just backtrack our way over. Oh right, I have to be careful of the robot. That's fine. This is in fact the way back up from the wi um from the uh, the boxes in the back. Oh, another person started patrolling. That's good information to have. I'll just try to stay calm and quiet around him, and then we should be all right. Uh, up, oh, please, please. Ex oh, my hands are full. That's fine. I can push it. Good enough. Wonderful. Um, and now we can go back in. I don't really know if there was a purpose to that, considering that they didn't actually give me any new information. Um... How did I... Let me up. Okay. Yeah, like I said, considering they didn't actually give me any new information, it's kind of like, well, you know... Maybe I didn't need to do that per se, but it's okay. the map. We'll make it back soon. I promise. Front doors, please. I now have the key. Uh, I guess the next thing I'm going to have to figure out is how to get back upstairs. Uh, to... I think they mentioned they were supposed to go up to the top of the level, right? But the problem is, the head is already down here. And I'm pretty sure the observatory platform is up there. But, um... Hey, sure, whatever. This is the way we came in. Yeah, this is the lower level. I now have that key, right? Or is that uh, a, a, on my keychain? It's probably on my keychain. So this will give me access? Yep, okay. I can lock and unlock. Ooh, that's interesting. That might actually come into play at some point. Okay, so these are just the front doors. Nope, that's bad. That's very bad. You know what? Lock. Lock. Yeah, okay. Let's hope I don't get blasted then. For, uh... For accidentally triggering the, um... The alarm there. Now... Maybe I have to go back upstairs, but going back upstairs, oh, I guess I never actually went up there because I stuck around to save the uh, the agent. That's what I'm missing. Okay. Yeah, there is another way up further over here. So I probably should have just done that instead of getting lost, but oh well. I'm so glad I came through this way. Was this an alternate route you could have come up? You could have climbed up in some way? Huh. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> How would I have climbed up here? Like, that is definitely an entrance. But it's not like there's a ladder or... I... Yeah, it's not like there's a ladder or anything. Hmm. I see the flares, but I don't think I need it. Okay, well, it's interesting that this is a way out. Maybe it's just the escape route. Though, to be fair, running... <laughs> go, go, exiting the escape route and then running headlong into the, uh, into the robot doesn't seem a good idea. Okay. This is taking me back downstairs. So that did not accomplish what I hoped for. Um, and that will do the same thing, won't it? It will. Okay. Uh, I am still lost. Wonderful. 
Uh, I guess I'll just take those stairs back up then. I guess that would make sense, right? Uh, yeah, I guess it would make sense because if we were supposed to do it in this order in which I got the keys which unlocks these doors, I came in here, rescue the guy on the first floor and then I have to keep going up, right? Yeah. I just didn't think of it because this is the way from which I came. And there are further stairs up. Ah, makes perfect sense. I am so smart sometimes. Ah, shit. But this is still the other way in which I came from earlier. Unless there's another way up further. I mean, if it was up, I would have to assume it's the, um, it would be past these guys. I could probably just throw a nade at them, truth be told. But would that be overkill? Hmm. It probably would be, but... Weapon modification... I could just trank them both and run. I don't have a lot of these rounds left, though. Hmm. I don't really know... The main thing is, of course, we've been up here before, right? I guess I'm supposed to get up there somehow. We've been up here before. This is literally how I first got down here. So... Maybe if I can separate them. If I make enough noise and make them investigate. That might make them separate. Potentially. Hmm... I have to get up there. Unless there's another way up from here that I'm not seeing. But no. There's no ladder or anything. Mm. Unless there's a way up from the outside. I think... I doubt that's the case, though. Because they booby-trapped this place with, like, the little, like, sticky mines on the walls and stuff. I don't know. Maybe one of these guys is the leader. These explode, so I could blow it up. They're both marked as red, though. And I kind of feel like the leader would have a unique model. So... Do I take them both out and then just run around looking for the way out? Probably for the best, right? Probably for the best. I mean, yes, I could just throw a nade at them, but... If, <clears throat> if one of these is the leader, I wouldn't want to accidentally... Take him out. Run. Just run around. They'll fall down eventually. They'll heal over sooner or later. I do like my little wrist dart. Okay, so that's one of them. Thank you for the trank darts. I appreciate that. It at least replenished the trank darts I used up. Um, yeah, I'm so confused right now. Uh, let me check my, my log again. So right now, NSS seems to be directing the attack from the statue. Get inside and locate the threat. Yeah, I did get inside, I mean. And they were telling me, hey, you gotta go to an upper level. That's where they are. So I assume it's up there. Oh, ha ha! Gunther has reestablished contact. He says you helped him escape. Good work. That I did. Okay, so it turns out it was there the whole time, but it was very dark and uh, well hidden, I suppose. So here Some we are. News, JC. The uh -huh. NSF targeted a shipment of the plague vaccine Ambrosia. We can't locate it. See if the leader will surrender when you reach the <sighs> command post. We'd like to interrogate him. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, why? Standing my ground. They sprung Herman. We don't stand a chance against a mech. Who's there? I think the law's on us. No, I'm not. I'm absolutely not on you. What do you mean? I guess it's nothing. It was nothing. You're right. Please continue your conversation. They're not going to continue their conversation, are they? I'll just <clears throat> let it sit and dart them both. Wonderful. 
Pew, pew. Ow. Okay. That's fine. Don't chase me. Don't chase me. Don't do it. Have you fallen over yet? Good. That's one. Um, and the other guy ran... Uh, wonderful. It's not perfect, um, but it's still okay because I've got four shots left of this. I do like non-lethal whenever possible. Oh, okay. Hello. I can only carry one PS20. I don't know what I can do with the flares, either. They don't seem like they're that, that helpful to me. I guess it would light up the area. I suppose that's true. Do I hold it in my... Wait. Okay, yeah. Do I just hold it in my hand and then use it? Oh, I throw it and it lights things up. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. What is this? More stuff. Cigarettes seem kind of worthless. I'll take the candy bar. So they did say the leader's not much of a fighter, right? And he'll surrender once I walk up? I want you to take this one alive and conscious. Find out what you can about the shipment, then turn him over to one of the troopers. Oh yeah. You're obviously the leader because you're unique. Okay. Critical location bonus. Alright, you said you surrender when I walk up to you. You're not even talking to me. You're not even... Yeah, you you are ignoring me. How rude. Don't shoot. I surrender. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people. And you can't do a damn thing about it. Hmm. Tell me about the shipment and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Tell me about the shipment and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. Okay. Well Standard done. dialogue. We'll pass on your orders to the troopers. Report back to base on the west side of the island. Mission complete. All right. So that's a standard conspiracy, uh, conspiracy... The Here we go. finally let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. Oh, I guess they would have killed everyone behind me anyway. So my whole sneaking around non-lethally was kind of pointless. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, standard conspiracy theory stuff whenever there's a, a plague. Huh. It's, uh, still strangely relevant for modern times, isn't it? Okay. Uh, with that in mind, I found a body. You're still unconscious, that's good. But I guess outside they've killed everyone else? Okay, wonderful. I went through a whole lot of trouble for, uh, for nothing, it seems. <laughs> I may as well just go out through the front door then, if they've, uh, if they've already gone through the trouble of, uh, clearing the place out for me. The front doors, which would be down here. Hello, soldier. You're one of ours, right? Yes. They sent us in to pick up the pieces. We've already searched the bodies and delivered the enemy munitions to the quartermaster. Oh, convenient. And there should be no enemies here. Everything should be deactivated. Good. Um, now, they said I need to go to the west side of the island. Uh, admittedly... Oh, that's probably to the compound I saw before, isn't it? Hiya! Is that loot I missed? Nope, that's just a bird. Okay. Um, that's the compound there then, presumably. Wonderful. Mission complete. We're almost out. More birds? Oh no, loot. Pepper gun. Prod charger. Data cube. Brother. I set up the turrets and cameras in the statue ruin. Oh, I've read this before. How did I miss all that loot? Or is that there because... Don't worry about the bodies. We'll handle the cleanup. Um, was that just there because I had um, cleared everything already and they're just like restocking you? Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, hello, Minimum brother. Force won't work in the city. You better take some hardware. Uh huh. Uh, no, I don't want to I'll talk to you. I'll check back with you later. Although, actually, I do want tranquilizer darts. Minimum force. 
Give me tranquilizers. You're 60 for the tranquilizer darts. So much for that minimum force approach. What do you mean? Trank darts are our minimum, our minimum, uh, minimum force. What's all that in We've there? We got the island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. So they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the east coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know Unatco handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. Unatco makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office, level two. Sounds like a plan. Is this place larger than I thought? Unatco HQ, New York, Liberty Island. Can I talk get to you? Get inside. I'll meet you in All Manderley's right. office. Sounds good. Oh my goodness, the reflections. Uh, Mead Bucks Congress, APR, Washington, D.C. Defying Congress for the third time this year, President Mead unilaterally paid the United States late dues to the United Nations. Like good tenants, we must pay our rent on time, he told reporters. Leaders of both parties criticized the move. Where does he ca get the cash? asked Senator Redon, Ryden, uh, D. Illinois. Clearly from some budget item yet to be approved by the Congress. The Republicans were no kinder. This council member has been betrayed, and so has America, said Senator Osno Liverpool, uh, representing California. The Congress came together to approve a UNATCO presence on U.S. soil, but we did not write a blank check. No, sir, a superpower does not pay rent. Okay. Uh, I can sit in a comfy chair. Nope, too heavy to lift it. I guess I'd be throwing it in that case. Way to go, sir. I thought Gunther was a goner. Uh, thank you. Shannon. The ammunition is disappearing again, and we're changing. Too. I'm pretty excited. Ammunition is disappearing again, so we're changing the door code for the comm van near the helipad. New code zero four five one. Alex. Okay, I'm going up. Although I think I've already hacked my way in. Truth be told, this is the helipad right here, right? Yeah. So this is the door code, which I've already entered, and I wasted a lockpick on. Ah, I see. My impatience has cost me a lockpick. Disappointed! Oh well. I was in your class at the academy. You probably don't remember. I don't, Private Lloyd. Sorry, bud. Manderley's office is on level two. He's expecting you. That's President Philip Meade. You think that's funny? I could literally hack it in front of him too. Will he object if I do this? Yeah. Will Will he object if I, I hack? Do that if I was you. Hack it. I, he'll probably object, in which case I will load. But I had to try and find out what was going on. Haha, -ha, no email today. What about your email from here? Nobody cares. Uh, I guess you'll have to click save this because there's a whole lot of stuff. And this one? New agent, JC Denton. Intruder detected. Ow. Okay, so I guess... If I wait too long, it it's actually my drains my bio excited. my bio energy, which is not ideal. Aha. Okay, well, there's no point breaking everything. Yes. Check in with Manderly on level two. I'm working on it. I think I'm on level two. Oh. Okay. Nice. Come on in. The retinal scanner can read blood vessel patterns right through your sunglasses. Oh, convenient. So they can identify me, right? Thank you. Infinite strength lock. Yes? Remember that Mr. Manderley wants to see you. Level 2. His secretary, Janice Reed, has your login and password. Oh, I know. You you guys have told me that like four times already. We finally got to cap some rebels, eh? Denton? Hell of a first day. For you. Uh, looks like some loot in there. I could pr probably just break the lock or lockpick the place. But maybe I'll get so, a key and some clearance. Trick again. Yeah, maybe I'll get a key and actual clearance. Maybe I should wait for that before breaking into every room. Although I really want to break into every room. That's level okay, so this is level two. She's waiting for me here, therefore I must keep going to level three. Before the briefing, you've gotta to go to level three for your equipment and a medical examination. See how oh. Ray is in the med center and Sam Carter in the armory. Uh-huh. Well, that was a close one up there. Uh okay, so what did he just say? 
I needed to go come to level three for what purpose? Uh, for equipment, right? Uh, what do you say? Before the briefing, you've got to go to level three for your equipment and a medical examination. Okay, so I don't this like level three shot right here. At. Not one bit. Uh, I will go into the restroom. Hello. Aha! I wonder if I could sell things. Will people object if I walk in here? Oh, hi. How unprofessional. Sorry. Oh, it's Shannon. Hey, Expecting I found you. a show. But I need to talk to you, Shannon. I don't think I won't report this. Okay. Maybe talking to her in the bathroom is not the best idea. And medical. You did say I had to talk to this guy. Medical bot. Heal me, please. Oh, augmentations. How does this work? Uh, subdermal and everything. This is very cyberpunk. Um, so I can install one or of the one or the other. Okay, microfibril muscle. Muscle strength is amplified with ionic polymetric uh, polymeric gel my myofibrils that allow the agent to push and lift extraordinarily heavy objects. I want that. What's this? Combat strength. Muscle speed, multiplying damage, the inflicted melee combat. That also seems helpful. Both seem good. But I'm gonna pick the strength one because it gives me options. Okay. It gives me more options for uh, for sneaking around people, so I will... Whoops. So I will go with that. I'll take the soda. UNATCO Med Directorate Nano Augmentation Guidelines. Nano augmentations, once installed, irrevocably alter the physiological system they affect and in many cases cause all subsequent augmentations to be rejected. However, the exact number of augmentations each system can support varies. The various interdependencies between these systems can be seen in the following table. The details possible nano augmentation combinations. Arms, combat strength or microfibril muscle, leg, speed enhancement or run silent. Subdermal 1, EMP shield or ballistic protection. Subdermal 2, cloak or radar transparency. Torso 1, aqua lung or environmental resistance. Torso 2, regeneration or energy resistance. Regeneration sounds good. Torso 3, synthetic heart or power recirculator. Cranium, aggressive defense system. They spelled aggressive wrong, didn't they? Isn't it AGG? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, anyway, aggressive defense system or spy drone, and optics, targeting or vision enhancement. Um, I don't really, I'm not too worried about, um, I'm not too worried about needing to, uh, go for the, the targeting system, right? I guess it would just speed up how fast it takes before your reticle, like, shrinks. Specific nano augmentation should be selected based on the mission profile of the particular agent. Janine's bot, specs and overview. Matsu Gravis GV4 Nightingale Medical Bot. The Matsu Gravis GV4 is the newest edition of the MG line. Their first foray into the medical bot category, largely monopolized by Page Industries and Chiang subsidiary Healtech. Unlike the competing Page or Healtech units, the MG GV4 benefits. From a completely proprietary operating system developed at MG Research Campus in Prague that promises to revolutionize automated healing by combining a comprehensive medical and pharmaceutical database with MG's already proven autonomous heuristic routines. While actual field data is sketchy at this point in time, an anecdotal evidence suggests that the GV4 can heal wounds far beyond the capabilities of any other competing model, although it does require a substantial recharging period. Okay, whoops. Can you heal me? You can. Heal all. That one minute is not substantial, okay? I'm not too worried about that. Uh, that's where the doctor is, and then you can go keep going to level 4. A dead body. I'm not gonna pick it up and throw it or anything, but, uh... Dedication. Nihil aliud sit necessitas com vincer. Sure. Whatever you say. Also, can I please regenerate my my energy, please? I would appreciate that quite a lot. You old kidder. What do you mean? Unatco Handbook Appendix A. Origins of Unatco. 
In recent years, the swelling tide of international terrorism coupled with enmity between states, wildly varying laws, and an anachronistic devotion to arbitrary borders has resulted in the decreasing effectiveness of local law enforcement. To resolve the problem, a Dune Troll Agency was required to enforce international law in an impartial manner around the world. UNATCO was formed with just such... Oh crap, well, there goes... I didn't realize I had it opened. There goes all my power. Uh, UNATCO was formed with just such a mission in mind, an organization that could transcend national boundaries and provide security for all nations that subscribe to its charter. Founded with the principles of the United Nations as its cornerstone, UNATCO is fair, just, and protects the individual liberties of all the citizens of the world. The criminal thrives on anonymity, but soon there will be no place for them to hide. Victory over terrorism is the prize for our vigilance. Hey, JC. Yo. You look like the real thing. They actually let you operate on people? Just fix Gunther's knee, in fact. A sticky actuator. So far, I feel more like a mechanic than a doctor. I'm impressed. They actually let you point a gun at people. We'll have to catch up later. I've got to leave for New York right away. Could you send Manderley whatever it is he wants? No problem. Listen, JC, about your augmentations. You know they're preparing to roll out the technology worldwide, right? Is that a good as long idea? As I don't turn green and grow a pair of antennas, as I understand it. Yeah, well, the design's pretty modular, which means you'll soon have access to upgrades from standard augmentation canisters. Great. Have anything for me? Not yet. But remember, if you find one of these canisters, that you need a med bar for installation. I'll do I'll that. bear that in mind. The canisters contain a colloid of ROM modules. Some are generic upgrades, others require you to make permanent choices about how to configure one of your subsystems. It's about time they implemented some of this stuff. Have you met your partner yet, Anna Navarra? I think she and Gunter are upstairs in the break room. Haven't run into her. A real piece of work. Maybe you should compare notes before the operation. You never know. She might go easier on you. I find it unlikely. Uh, One more thing before I go, since you've been briefed on my augmentations. What can you tell me about the info link? Let's see. Micro receiver exostructure in the sulci, mechanocarbon threads on the axons. For queuing, you know, packet routing. Anything particularly interest you? Is there a way to turn it off? The info link? Yeah, or is someone at UNATCO tuned in 24 hours? This might sound a little funny, JC, but I'm not permitted to answer that question. Your clearance is higher than mine? Regarding your systems, I am your physician. No big deal. I was just curious. So the answer is yes, someone is watching 24-7. Okay, understood. Uh, so what's level 4? What have we got down here? Restricted area. I guess my clearance probably won't be enough to get me in here, huh? No, I didn't think so. Okay, that's fine. <gasps> Um, now, who else am I talking to down here? Uh, I still need to go to Manderley's office. Sam Carter for equipment. So, he must be down here somewhere. They did say that they're both here on level 3. Can I read this? No. Alright, fine. Carter's out the door and around the corner. He's got your stealth pistol. Careful. Uh, he's got my stealth something. Stealth system, I guess, maybe? I do not know. I wish you would recharge my energy as well. Yeah. Oh well. Computer Ops. Alex Jacobson. You're getting warm. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Wait, you're Alex right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm near the near the guy who's talking to me by radio is what they're saying. But I'm looking for Carter, not Alex. Can I just hack my way in? No one's gonna argue with me, right? I'm I'm nosy. I'm very nosy. Let me look. If no one complains, I assume it's fine. So the fact that I don't only have like half the time to read any of this is unfortunate. Skull gun. Forwarded your request for appropriations, upgrading combat readiness, blah blah blah. And no augmentation, our new recruit. I think I've seen that one from upstairs. Okay. I don't want to get shocked or anything, so. Yes? You're red hot. Looks like you found me. It's probably you down there, right? Or maybe you're in this room. Security keypad? Okay. Uh, change German password to Zeitgeist. Next week, I guess it'll be Schadenfreude. Strange guy. German. G. Herman? Is this... Okay, perfect. So now I don't even have to, uh... I don't have a time limit to worry about anymore. Wonderful. 
So from Jay Manderly, subject R. E. Skull Gun to G. Herman, C. C. A. Navarre. Uh, I've personally forwarded your request to appropriations. Upgrading our combat readiness is an ongoing priority. Speaking of which, you certainly made the best of a difficult situation yesterday. We applaud your courage. Thank you for living to work another day, Gunther. We need more agents like you, JM. Oh, this is Gunther's email, okay. Uh, might I suggest, again, he's spelling everything wrong, a skull gun for my head. Yesterday in Battery Park, some scum we all know pushes smack for NSF, gets jumpy and draws. I take 2.22s. I in flesh, oh sorry, one in the flesh, one in the augmentations before I can get out that damn assault gun. If I could kill just by thought, it would be better. Is it my job to be a human target practice backstop? Gunther Herman. Okay. Whoops. Let me back in. Thank you. So, Jay Reyes. Nano augmentation and you. By now, you've heard about the upcoming transition for nano augmentation. Uh, it's coming, but not as soon as you think. UNATCO has only one nano-augmented agent, with a second just now graduating from the academy. I assume that's us, and the first one was our brother. It will be years before the program leaves the laboratory. Your mechanical augmentations are not obsolete. Some agents express concern that they will be walking junk in 10 years. One agent expressed their fears in an anonymous email, saying that will be sold at flea markets. Old grey golems for scaring the children. So what about my legs? What about my life? Keep some perspective. Prosthetics remain the only proven technology for enhancing human abilities. Those who make the sacrifice are appreciated, commended, and saluted as heroes. Um, I was asked by the regional medical coordinator to forward this information to all of you. I do so without further comment, Dr. Reyes. And I just closed it once again. Uh, let me back in. Thank you. And Jay Manderly, our new recruit to uh, G. Herman and A. Navarre. JC Denton will be joining us today with after Histon at the Academy, and I'm assigning both of you the task of keeping a watchful eye on him while monitoring his progress. His assigned cover name for the duration of his service will be JC Denton. We thought it would be best to keep the cover names within the family, since Paul has already received the Denton codename. I have great faith in you both, and I trust that you will do your utmost to ensure that he becomes a successful and productive member of the organization. Until further notice, I'd like to receive weekly reports with your observations, JM. Okay. Cool. Uh, Project Dibuk. Uh, domination or a 5F clearance only. The noted failure of previous attempts to create a low-profile rotary aircraft involved the acquisition and retrofitting of avail available military hardware that had neither the range, ceiling, nor electromagnetic transparency to avoid numerous eyewitness accounts or unauthorized military interactions. In addition to exacerbating the public misconceptions about governmental operations, such encounters also jeopardized several key missions. Project Dibuk was initiated to address this issue through the creation of a stealth aircraft that could be used as a platform for a number of mission objectives. Why do I get the feeling that that will become important in the story at some point? Thank you for the candy bar. Uh, Midnight Sun, Great Death, Look to the Sky. New York. No student of recent history can fail to miss the irony that the greatest enemy and uh, that the greatest enemy mankind has faced in the 21st century was not any despot or dictator, but the lowly microbe. Millions upon millions have been killed by the pandemics of AIDS, resistant tuberculosis, and the century flu, and now we face the greatest threat yet: the Great Death, a plague of devastating efficiency that has surfaced in the last year. But was this plague an accident of nature or a design of science? another standard uh, conversation that comes up every every you know every time this type of thing happens huh dr oh, dr Kenshi, Kenji Ishii Ishi of the new world biomedical health center in New York thinks not my analysis of this plague indicates that it was un decidedly unnatural in origin and in fact maybe extraterrestrial uh, he went on to speculate about those afflicted obviously a disproportionate number of the indig of the indigent seems to be infected, a situation that makes perfect sense if you consider it prelude to an invasion. Oh, okay. Different kinds of conspiracy theories. No more effective way to disrupt the social, political, and military fabric of Earth has yet been devised. If this is so, then what are our leaders not telling us? How can we be betrayed? Only they know the answers. Joe Green, senior staff writer. Okay. Give me that. 
various maps and stuff. Okay, fun. And, uh, hi. You're the guy in the <laughs> chair, huh? A mouse to cheese. This thing is starting to give me a headache. Don't worry. We shut it down when you go off duty. Oh, yeah? I guess I'll get used to it. I'm I'll Alex take your word Jacobson, for it. Communications engineer. I suppose you already know who I am. Getting there. You're certainly quicker on the uptake than your brother Paul ever was. Thanks. Uh, that's it. Don't worry. I'll be watching your back. Okay, sounds fun. Uh, interesting. I'm glad I came in here. Don't have the code for this, though. But I don't want to waste my, um... Actually, I don't even have a multi-kit. I can't even say I... I, I can't even say anything about wasting it. Um, Gunther. Anna. Ah, oh, Carter. Hello. At ease, Agent Denton. General Carter, I read about the Merced operation in school. This is a great honor. I'm not a general anymore. Just call me Carter. I can't believe what the NSF did to your family. Enough of that, soldier. We each have our troubles. I lost my children, but you've had to grow up without your parents, which requires more courage. I don't think it matters. My parents died in a car accident. That's different. I said that's enough. You have your own op and time is short. How about I issue you a stealth pistol? Sounds, sounds like fun. a plan. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What else do you think you'll need? More sleep darts. Uh, nanotech tech tool. Smart lockpick is always handy. Smart lockpick is always handy. That's right. Infiltrate and evade. Wonderful, Engage thank you. only on your own terms. Now move out. Manderley's waiting. I hey, would have liked the multi-tool, actually. Front selling munitions. Is that allowed? Oh, Captain, right. We've got some screwballs around here, but he's not the problem. It's whoever's been breaking into the armory. Someone at Unaco's a thief? Yes, sir. And a damn good one. I was curious to know how a general turned into basically like a quartermaster, but I guess he decided to uh, retire. Um... Okay, can I not buy anything else from you? Okay, I guess not. Okay. I wanted multi-tools, not not like a standard lockpick, but sure. Uh, and this will take me back to Gunther and Anna Navarre. This is literally where I came from earlier, I believe, so I'm going back up to level 2. Way to go, sir. Thank you. Wait. Am I lost? I'm lost. This is a prison area, isn't it? Gunther yeah. should have followed orders. Yeah, this is a prison. Okay. I must have uh, rounded the wrong corner. My bad. Um. So, are you telling me that this is literally just their? This is where their office happens to be. Gunther and Anna both work here in the same office. Does one just sit in the corner while the other does all the work? What? Uh, mass grave in Brooklyn. Responding to an outbreak of great death that quickly overwhelmed all city services, National Guard forces were placed under the command of local law enforcement today and mobilized to help with disposal of the recently deceased in Brooklyn. However, the National Guard soon proved inadequate in containing the chaos, and in many cases, the dead were simply left lying in streets while the dying, mostly homeless, wandered the city until collapsing. Traffic jams and looting remain widespread, and as fear of the disease continues to escalate, frequent riots have made any attempt at an organized cleanup impossible. With the threat of secondary diseases looming, city officials have consulted with the CDC in Atlanta and ordered a mass grave to be dug in Gateway National Park. Well, that's terrible. I'll take that bioelectric cell, but I'm not going to use it. Uh, I will actually use it... Oops. I'll use it when... Um, when I actually need it, more or less. Because uh, right now, I don't know if they'll actually replenish my bioelectric energy for me. Or maybe it's just based on time. No. It's not time. Okay, yeah, I'm still out, but the good news is I've discovered that you can actually basically flash your way through even if you're out of power. So there's that going for me. It's a little annoying because it fills up like, you know, a quarter of the screen. Um, but hey, I'll, I'll do whatever is necessary. Uh, time to hack. I assume this is a Navarez. Uh, computer. So I don't think I'll have the password for it. Let me in. Actually, no, this is all the same. This is all still G. Herman. Okay. In that case, whatever. You didn't watch me just uh, go through their things, okay? You didn't watch me log into their account Thank or anything? God, my shift is almost over. Level 3. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh... 
Okay, so... Didn't know the NSF had so many people in New York. Well, it is, you know, one of the more populated cities, so it does make sense, all things considered. This is unlocked? Okay. What's that, a debriefing room? Joseph Manderly, this is Manderly. That's the lady I saw in the bathroom. Uh, what is this room? Also unlocked. Hello? This is you my office? office? Nice. Did Janice give you your login? No. I guess not. Let's see. JCD, password, Bionic Man. Bionic Man? You serious? Uh, in carrying out their duties, UNATCO agents often come in contact with the public. You are a peacekeeper, and your first objective is to safeguard human life. Although terrorists may see an advantage in harming civilians, UNATCO agents do not. Issue a warning before firing at a suspect, and always instruct bystanders to get down on the ground. Refrain from firing into large crowds. Every civilian hurt is collateral damage. However, keep in mind that no civilian with a clearance below Angel slash Zero A should be trusted and may be a potential spy. Anyone can be a spy, and secrecy is our ally. Remember, we're all in this together, okay? Uh, UNATCO Handbook. Welcome to UNATCO. Classification. The UN has nine levels of security above top secret. This manual and all material that is not otherwise marked is classified as Angel or Zero A. If you're not Angel or Zero A above, uh, report immediately to your supervisor or face disciplinary action. Other classifications will be explained upon reaching higher clearance. Um, in its efforts to combat terrorism, the UN has created UNATCO for the swift deployment of a coordinated force to counteract any insurgent operations. You are justifiably proud to be part of this organization. Your physical capabilities place you within the upper 1% of national ground combat units, while your mental capacities have been honed to sharpness by the UNATCO Academy. But as part of a larger organization, you also understand the necessity to heed orders from your supervisors without hesitation. Your superiors are typically briefed on matters for which you may not be cleared, and hesitation on the part of an agent can result in the serious impairment of mission objectives and attendant casualties. UNATCO has faith in you, and this faith will be rewarded in due time as your operational capacities are increased. Brave the darkness, for you carry the torch of freedom. Okay? Lots of uh, propaganda, I'm getting. Uh, and it was Bionic Man? What's my own login? JC Denton? Bionic Man? Nope. Uh, let me, let me go back, refer back to my conversations. Uh, JCD Bionic Man, there we go. JCD Bionic Man. Wonderful. We've already read this one, don't need to care about it. Uh, okay, let's start with this. J from J. Reyes to JCD, greetings and nanotech briefings. Hey JC, guess I'll have to get used to calling you JC around the office. Not sure where they came up with that, but at least they gave you the same last codename as your brother. Anyway, whatever they're calling you, it's good to see a familiar name on the roster. Uh, my first job here has been to read up on your augmentations. I'm beginning to see why they found classes so easy. Every neuron in your head has been augmented. For example, the voice in your head from an operator, someone here at HQ able to handle the scanning equipment in your skull and broadcast advice over your infolink, leaps fully formed right into your temporal lobe, bypassing the eardrum and its sensory neurons, and is perfectly inaudible to everyone around you, of course. Not to mention that the nanites clinging to your axons can both receive and transmit symbolic information. So if you ever need help, don't sweat it. Someone at HQ probably already knows. Come by if you want to hear more. This is great stuff. Jamie. Okay. Med Directorate. Nano Augmentation Stressors. Nano Augmented Agents will often encounter stress created by resentment among fellow agents, particularly those who have been mechanically augmented. In an effort to secure freedom and liberty for those under their protection, many UNATCO agents have chosen to sacrifice social acceptance for mission performance by surgically replacing limbs and organs with mechanically or electronically enhanced equivalents. But your nano augmentations point the way to the future. Thousands of microscro uh, microscopic living organic machines that exist in symbiosis with your body. Because such augmentations create only minimal disfigurement, they are likely to be a source of friction between you and the other mechanically augmented agents. But it is important to understand that UNATCO is an organization where individuals must act in concert. Each is important to the whole, and mutual understanding is essential to teams comprised of diverse human and augmented agents. I noticed you decided not to uh, categorize augmented agents as human. If you have any further questions, or wish to discuss these issues, please feel free to send an email to carvereschels.com 
Unatco various numbers to make an appointment. And welcome to Unatco, Agent. Lovely. Fun. Uh, in that case, let's just go to Manderlees, which is not here. But this debriefing room is open. Is this locked? It is not. Okay, this place is large. Whose office is this? Is this Manderly? It's not. This is just literally a debriefing room. Yeah, this is Manderly. Okay. Uh, as I was saying. Uh, far, for far too long, terrorists have exploited international tensions and regional legislative variations to evade authorities. A significant step was made towards eliminating those legal loopholes when U.S. President Philip Riley Meade lobbied the Congress to make the U.S. a UNATCO member nation. Enough is enough, he declared in his landmark State of the Union address. And the citizens of the United States responded with enthusiastic endorsement for his position. Not only did the U.S. become a charter member of UNATCO, but UNATCO headquarters are now located at Liberty Island in the shadow of that shattered monument to freedom. UNATCO deals not only with terrorist threats... Oops. Sorry, something uh, fell off my desk. Uh, UNATCO deals not only with terrorist threats, but also any transgressions of the international legal code, including drug trafficking, software piracy, really, uh, and money laundering. With the full support of the United States, UNATCO was, for the first time, able to fully declare itself the world policeman. Okay. Uh, I would have to unlock it, but those look like... Oh, Trank Darts, okay. JC. Mind if I call you JC? No, I don't mind, it's fine. I don't think these are actually... Well, it says research, but it's so blurry that I don't think it's worth uh, trying to decipher. The association membership card for UNATCO, okay. Oh, this is the break room. This is where the uh, the two of them are chilling. Wonderful. Um, I have to go to Manderley's no matter what, so I may as well check in on my partner over here. Yes, I agree. All right, hello. Are you sure you pressed the right button? I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. Okay, uh, let's catch up with My them. My new partner, oh. J.C. Denton. Don't tell me you're going to wear those sunglasses during a night operation. That I am. My vision is augmented. Better to look good than to have the distractions of another agent who needs backup. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Now, so excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. For instance, not to be a man running into enemy lines without coordinated military assault. No problem. Okay. Can I talk to you guys a little bit more? I have to prepare for the mission. Okay, never mind. You will be working with Anna Navarra. Lovely. Uh, anyway, Midnight Sun, meet from Mars. Cape Canaveral. NASA scientists have confirmed that the eroded that the eroded remains of the Alba Patera crater on Mars precisely match the face of President Meade. Okay, so the Midnight Sun is the conspiracy theory uh, theorist slash alien uh, publication. Got it. It's him, declared senior planetary specialist Kevlar Umla. There's his nose, that ridge, see? See the crater rim marking his hairline? The way he combs his hair appearing in this region of parallel valleys? The White House has no comment. However, Martin Wisdom, president of EA, Enemies of Aliens, told the Midnight Sun, This is the evidence that we've been looking for. A warning that Mr. Meade is not human. He's probably a Martian general. A war hero. Come to conquer the Earth with the assistance of the United Nations. Ryan Allen, staff writer. Alright, why is our military, or why is our UNATCO base filled with... <laughs> filled with, um, trash magazines? Hmm... Oh, uh, what? I didn't want it to take my money. Damn it. Public computer terminal. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Public computer terminal bulletins. Terrorism. Crime of conscience? Or crime or conscience. The question must be asked. Is the global rise of terrorism a haphazard response to decimated economy or is there a pattern? 
Does UNATCO face coordinated ideological opposition? Some groups, um, Silhouette in France, for instance, had declared a meme war, or war of meanings in their terminology. They spread email and pamphlets that lampooned the UN's proposal for a one world de democracy, a tedious exercise in rudimentary propaganda. With sophistries and doublespeak, they portray freedom as obedience, democracy as tyranny, and UNATCO as the perpetrator of terrorism, an idea as shocking as it is reprehensible. Other organizations, such as the self-proclaimed Revolutionary National Secessionist Forces in the US, claim allegiance to the meme war, but are in fact no better than common criminals. They desire territory and wealth at the expense of society at large. Their civil war is merely a smokescreen for criminal activity. Any population can be quickly turned against such revolutionaries simply by educating them about the UN's policies and goals. Joseph Manderley, Director, UNATCO. Oh, so that's who Manderley is, okay. Threat profiling. Symbolic attacks, the Statue of Liberty bombing, the desecration of the Soviet War Memorial in Berlin, the department store shooting sprees on Orchard Road in Singapore, are the recourse of the weak. They serve only to call attention to a group or cause that is of no more than marginal interest to the public. But what distinguishes true terrorist activity is the gradual escalation towards genuine acts of war. Fringe groups now have the access to technology that allows direct assaults on governments, including the classic trio of nuclear, biological, or chemical weaponry NBC. But aside from direct assaults on a nation and its people, indirect attacks can cause considerable collateral damage. Rogue software can disrupt financial markets, communications, and military operations, while encryption programs allow terrorists to coordinate smuggling operations in secret right over the net. Drugs, guns, illegal immigrants, and even heavy equipment such as armored vehicles and cruise missiles are, routine, are routinely traded across borders, aided and abetted by such software. UNATCO, the first organization with the technology, manpower, and authority to cope with such threats, is an idea that is long overdue. Okay. Know your enemy, the NSF. The natural, sorry, the National Secessionist Forces remain a very real and increasingly widespread terrorist threat. Ten years ago, in response to the, uh, the Sporting Weapons Act of 2042, splinter groups from nearly every state militia refused to surrender their rifles, grenades, landmines, and other collectibles prohibited by the act. United under the charismatic leadership of Leon Woods, these isolated fanatics eventually formed the NSF with Woods assuming the rank of general. Their intended goal, the liberation of Washington, Montana, Oregon, and Northern California. While Woods died during his infamous last stand in 2045, his war machine continues what can only be termed as an occupation of the United States, aided by an encrypted network designed by dissident computer scientists from San Francisco and Seattle. Currently, the UNATCO Cryptography Division has had minimal success in cracking their communications, requiring more direct intelligence gathering techniques to be utilized. The UN has declared war on the NSF. Silhouette Famous for inserting 20th century style commercials into the net broadcast of the World Cup in 2050, Silhouette favors feats of spectacle over violence. Printed circuits, part of this uh, nutritious breakfast, the announcer told children in one of the World Cup commercials, You ain't mech till you eat mech. A mech boy chews a memory chip. Boys who eat organics get stomped by their post-human classmates. Mech boys in UNATCO helmets and metal boots take turns kicking another boy. Despite their numerous pranks, these intellectuals, artists, and labor, organizer, uh, and labor organizers pose a serious threat. They are well armed and have been linked to the murders of numerous European politicians and journalists. They will not hesitate to use lethal force. Okay. The Triads. UNATCO surveillance of Hong Kong is currently a high priority given the renewed threat of Chinese organized crime in the form of the Triads. Despite being a model of prosperity and technological leadership for decades, Hong Kong persists as a haven for organized crime. The triads, namely the Luminous Path and Red Arrow, vie for control of the 10 trillion credit shipping business, much of which supplies Greater Asia with pirated technology, illegal drugs, and weapons. Most disturbing of all, the triads preach an ethic of technopiracy that has found enthusiastic support among small shopkeepers and businessmen who often aid the gangsters and buy their bootlegged software. Gullible and greedy, this army of middlemen remain insensitive to how their violations of intellectual property and copyright laws damage the global information economy. Other threats. UNATCO operatives have identified over 12, 
1,250 terrorist organizations active in the world today, some too small to currently present a serious threat, but all eager to see one or more governments topple. Groups, sub uh, groups such as the Templars in Europe, and X-51 in the western US will be dealt with in subsequent volumes of Know Your Enemy. Lovely. Uh, can I hack this or will people get upset? I'ma do it! Give me money, please. Uh, yes, I would like to withdraw the full amount. Thank you! Uh, wonderful. That was interesting. And so, Manderly, you're in the next room over. I may as well come and bug you. I'll take that. Hey, I'm trying to work. Yes, I know. You're going to make a mess. Mr. Manderly, just FYI, your new password is Night Killer. I know you led that mission in Paris against the old organization or whatever it was. Your login is still J Manderly. Night Killer J Manderly. Okay. Good work out there, Mr. Denton. Mr. Manderley said you handled yourself nicely. Welcome to UNATCO HQ. Our little family keeps getting bigger. Is Mr. Manderley available? Yes, go right in. By the way, your computer account is ready. Log in JCD, password Bionic Man. Alex already told me. Thanks. I do appreciate that the dialogue recognizes that, hey, you've already explored the area and you were already told this information. Good stuff. They're waiting for you, Agent. Go on in. Very impressive for, what, this is, what, very early 2000s? J. Manderly, Night Killer. Alright. Um, we've already read this before. Now this is an interesting one. From W.S. to J. Manderly and A. Navarra. Uh, our little experiment should be coming soon. Clear it for domination uh, slash 5F ops as soon as possible, but proceed with caution. We have serious concerns about the primary unit and would like to avoid any potential contamination. A little experiment should be arriving soon. You okay. better not keep them waiting. Don't you worry. Contamination. Are, I, I'm just throwing things at the wall. I'm like, they're not talking about, like, it, the conspiracy theory about, like, an engineered virus or anything, right? Like, they're not talking about a shipment of a virus and they're gonna, like, turn on me or something at some point, right? I don't know. Hello, brother. What is this thing? That will be JC's job. What's that? Power station. The NSF have Ambrosia in a warehouse protected by cameras and booby traps. We want to power down the whole system. We're taking one illicit generating plant, protected by weak groups of NSF. Knock out that plant, and Paul's team can walk right into the warehouse. Just tell me where it is. The NSF are openly resisting our deployed forces, gradually falling back. You have to deal with them first. And you be ready, Paul. When the power drops, go in and go in hard. I'll use my discretion. Go in like the U.S. Marshals. We lose the vaccine, I'm sending your butt to the mayor to explain why he and his three daughters won't get their pills this month. Yes, sir. Let's not waste any time, JC. Get down to the dock. A boat is waiting to take you and your partner, Anna Navarra, to shore. Yes, get moving. Here's your op bonus for the great job you did in the statue, plus 250 for rescuing Agent Herman. That's 1250. We take care of our people around here. Thank you, sir. By the way, Denton, stay out of the uh, ladies' restroom. <laughs> that kind of activity embarrasses the agency more than it does you. That's awesome. Okay, I that's, that's really nice. Like I said, I appreciate reactivity and attention to detail. And the fact that this game from, like, 2000, 2001 has that is really, really impressive to me. Okay, I appreciate that quite a bit. to admire your partner. She's one of our best. Uh-huh. We'll meet up in the city. Sounds good. Leave from where you arrived, Denton. The boat dock. Move it. But look at all these things I can read. So I assume this is like a hollow projector, right? If he's talking to me, maybe... Maybe I'll just, like, see a hologram of him or something. Grow up, JC. What? I'm reading. Uh, domination slash 5F clearance only. Um, 
I think we've actually read this Move one before, out, yeah. Unatco in the future. As science progresses at an ever-increasing rate, more and more advanced technology is finding its ways into the hands of the common criminal, resulting in a deadly Move threat out, to the life and property throughout the world. While it is impractical to restrict the free flow of information already present in the public sector, UNATCO is committed to ensuring that this threat does not go unaddressed. Even now, out, UNATCO research and development employs some of the most talented scientific minds in the world to develop proprietary technologies in the absolute security for field use by our agents, including such innovations out, as the redacted, redacted, and redacted, or the life-saving redacted. Under no circumstances should agents discuss any piece of equipment or technique currently employed by UNATCO. Agents operating Move contrary out, to this directive will face immediately, uh, immediate disciplinary action. Within our laboratories lies not just the future of law enforcement, but a safe, secure future for all mankind. Document out, filtered soldier. per UNATCO Terror Monitoring Act, bland, uh, you know, whatever, um, section 4. Okay. Boot camp for Betty. Uh, Madison High School junior Betty Souza will spend the semester at the Canyon City Boot Camp, say school officials. The crime? We have verified that she told another student that she knows how to make a bomb, said Principal Martin Gordley. What makes this case notable is that the parents have filed a lawsuit against the school district. Our daughter wears black, said fa uh, Father Brandon Souza in a prepared statement. She has an occipital jack, and we let her use it to play games. We allowed her to get a tattoo when she turned 16, but none of this makes her a criminal. The parents claimed that Betty was discussing a novel by Tom Robbins taught at Madison High when the mention of explosives occurred. Betty Souza will not be alone in Canyon City. Last year, 15,234 young people served sentences in the state's FBI-run Good Behavior Camps, a legacy of the Northwest War. This seems very, um, rather uh, dystopian, doesn't it? It's like, oh, I, she just says, that, oh, yeah, I know how to do that. Like, she could be joking. She is 16 years old. And they're just like, oh, off to boot camp. Move out, soldier. And, and, and a criminal record, possibly. Yeah, that's hey, too much. Who do you think you are? Uh, an officer of UNATCO reading the handbook. Like a good employee. Um, UNATCO and the police. In carrying out their duties, UNATCO agents often work with other law enforcement agencies. We remain a small, uh, elite organization. Until our ranks expand, we must rely on the cooperation of local police, governments, intelligence agencies, and corporate security divisions. Always be courteous when requesting information or filing an extradition request. As our jurisdiction widens, we will inevitably experience conflicts with some local officials. Do not resort to unnecessary intimidation in these situations and report any pr uh, problems to the appropriate UNATCO liaison. Above all, an international law enforcement body requires the respect and support of all participating nations. Alrighty then, uh, with that in mind, I suppose my next objective will be just to go to the South Dock, and then we're going to Manhattan. That sounds fun. Uh, I actually don't want to be in level 2, I want to go back up to level 1. Right? Yes, back out this way. Good work up there. Thank you, Sergeant Michael Betty or Barry. Bet the NSF won't try we'll that. Finish the again. job when we get to Manhattan. Sounds like a plan. Uh, is this where I came in from? I think so. Wish I was going with you. If only. Thanks, Scott. Uh, okay. So, oh, back to the South Dock. And presumably the start of the next mission. Good Do you want to talk to me, Man, Private Lloyd? Two dens in the, field. the NSF won't know what hit them. Indeed. Let us proceed. So, okay, this was the west side. Wait a minute. You guys are telling me that the headquarters for UNATCO is right here, and the per terrorists were able to set up shop next door. And this is supposed to be an elite po peacekeeping or organization. All right, we're uh, we're way less capable than I thought. All right. Uh, I suppose our reputation is undeserved. <laughs> uh, that's on our side, right? Yeah. Okay. So now we're heading to the police boat, and I guess we'll be heading into New York proper. 
Hey, the boat's ready. Wonderful. Let's Off we go. Go. Oh, hi. All right, let's go. The terrorists are in a fighting retreat. A few have barricaded themselves inside Castle Clinton. Lead the way. Our orders are to locate a barrel of ambrosia they are hiding inside. I will give you a schematic of the barrel, but first we will exterminate the NSF terrorists. Exterminate? A precious opportunity we cannot neglect. What about the rest of the shipment? That is your brother's assignment. You will take the subway to meet him in Hill's Kitchen. But first, we should deal with Castle Clinton. Are we going in the front, or is there another way? A secondary entrance would be useful, but I am aware of no such thing. I'm sure we'll find one. Okay, I don't know what that image is for. Wonderful. Um, so with that, I'm going to call it right here. Um, in Manhattan proper, we'll go out and deal with the terrorists before finding them in Castle Clinton. Um, I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today and that you're doing well wherever you are. This has been Karst with... Deus Ex. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye bye now.